Okay, so to do a one-way ANOVA test, the hardest part about it is that you have to put all of your um, your responses for each um, factor into one um, like data points. So see how I have put all the regurgitation control, and then if you um, copy and paste it, I just copy and pasted it from over here, and then you get the black. Um, triangle you can just drag it down and it'll copy it down all the way so you like stack them basically and then you have all the forward regurgitation outer forward and then the regurgitation for the inner reverse um, by lethal heart valve okay so then once you've done that that's the hardest part you go to stat ANOVA one way and then and then you're going to pick your um, responses, which is the regurgitation for the bilethal heart valve in the case of ours. And then your factor, which is going to be um, the different types of heart valves. And then we're going to want a confidence interval of 95, which is the standard. Um, but then so basically what the ANOVA test tells us that at least one by leaflet heart valve is gonna differ is gonna differ in regurgitation for the mean. Um, and then basically your deciding factor is gonna be your P value and if your P value is less than 0.05 because we choose a 95 confidence level, then we have strong evidence that um, their mean regurgitation value is that at least one differs. So to find out which one differs, you go to comparisons, and then you, before this wasn't clicked, and you just click on that, two keys, um, family error rate. And five is just um, a standard error of um, 95 confidence interval. So then click OK. And then mini tab will spit out your results. Um, so we got to look at our p-value and see if it's, in the rejection region, which would be less than 0.05. So because we have a p-value of 0.00, um, we reject the null, and it says so that at least one by lethal heart valve has a different mean regurgitation um, than the rest. So then to figure out which one has a different regurgitation, um, because of that, we click that two key, button we can figure that out so um, we figure that out over here so it says inner reverse regurgitation subtracted from regurgitation control and then the outer forward camber so because these are both because um, it goes from negative to negative you know that this one's bigger and that there's there is a significant difference between these three so they're not related at all and you also know that the the inner reverse um, one is bigger because obviously if you're subtracting a bigger number from a smaller number, it's going to be negative to negative. So and then we scroll down and then we have the control subtracted from the outer forward camber. Um, and because these are both positive to positive, that means that the control is smaller than the outer forward camber. So basically they're all different values. But if this value went from a negative to a positive, then they're not that different. And that's how you know that um, their mean is like very similar. And that's it for ANOVA.